Hi, this is Key, and uh, welcome to Get to Know the 8-Week Success Boot Camp. A lot of people always want to know what is the boot camp, how is it designed, who is it for, how is it different than from the iFastTrack program, and all of those things that people ask. And today I'm going to give you a sense of it. Obviously, if you want to participate in it, it starts next Friday, a week from today. So let's get to it. Let's get through the what is the program, how it works, and what is what you should know about it. So I am primarily an internet strategist, and I take what I call the intersection of prospecting, internet strategies, which is lead generation, and system management, which is time blocking, planning, running your business, and mindset. I take these three areas and I intersect them. And those who intersect these three areas really well tend to do well for the long term. I want you to take good notes or probably uh, prepare some questions. You can always text me your questions if you want. But if you want to register or if you want to see more videos explaining the course, type in this URL, bit.ly forward slash AW June 2020. So that URL should help you either get more information. I have a video that's about an hour long that goes into deep details on this course, but also there's a registration form there. The requirements are there. So anything you need to know, go to that URL. It will help you understand what the program is all about. So I want you to understand why I designed this boot camp. First of all, I did not design it for every agent. Absolutely not. In fact, when people register the course, I talk them out of it, not into it. I'll tell you why I do that. It's not because I don't want to work with them or something is wrong with them or there's something that is not uh, the right fit between us. It's because this boot camp was driven by accountability. And to be honest with you guys, you guys know this already. In our industry, a lot of agents love to have excuses. They love to have excuses for not doing what they're supposed to do. So they will always tell you why they didn't make the phone calls, why didn't follow up. They always have a good excuse. Those people in this course don't tend to do well. And I tell them that up front because 80% of all of real estate is only done by 20%. That question for me is, what is it? Is it a question of intellect? Is it a question of uh, where you're born, what part of the country you live, or is it something else? The second question I've always been interested in, why is it that only a few agents become listing agents, and the majority of them, and we're talking about uh, more than 50% of realtors, do less than five to eight transactions a year? Why is that? I can tell you this, it's not knowledge, because the knowledge is out there. It's not the broker. Oh, you can blame the broker. Oh, it's so easy to blame the broker because it gives you an out. My broker doesn't know what he's doing. She doesn't know how to help me. Therefore, I'm not doing well because it's her fault. That's easy. The truth of the matter is tenacity. There is a way of running your business in the real estate business called accountability, tenacity, and being able to do it daily. So let me share with you the three areas that I consider the intersection of a successful career. The first one is accountability. Accountability means you say you're going to do something and you actually do it and somebody else checks that you did it. We call that accountability. We call that time block daily activities. So you tell yourself and your broker that today you will make 10 follow-up calls. And guess what you do? You make 10 follow-up calls. But let's say you don't know what to do. Maybe you go, but Key, I want to do the calls, but I don't know what to say. That's fine. We will teach you what to say. See, having a script is something you can learn. See, that's a skill that you learn. 
But are you going to do the call when you know what needs to be done? That's what differentiates those who do well versus those who don't. Those who do well take action. Those who don't observe. The second area of real estate where you need to excel is prospecting. Prospecting is the act of asking for business. It's you going out there in the world and going, hi, my name is Key. I'm your local realtor. Have you thought about buying or selling real estate? That consistency of doing that, but not just that script, because there are different scripts. You don't talk the same way with everyone. Somebody who is a for sale by owner, you approach them differently than somebody who had an expired listings or somebody who's coming to your open house or somebody you meet online who registered to your website via Zillow, via Chime, via any other system. We call that prospecting. But the biggest failure in prospecting is follow-up. And the third area that is necessary for a successful career is lead generation. We're in the business of creating business. If we don't create new funnels where people come to us, well, guess what? We're not going to grow. So you don't just rely on one funnel. You have to create multiple funnels. And the more consistent you are with your accountability, your prospecting, and your lead generation, having the right mindset to run your business like a business, guess what you do? you tend to do very well. So what are the five area that you, you can find weaknesses or challenges? Let's call them challenges. There are five areas of weakness or challenge or knowledge. Because yeah, if you're new, this area, these five areas could be new to you. What are they? Number one, your business attitude. How you think about business. You see, you have to shift from being an employee who gets paid per hour to somebody who is an entrepreneur who gets paid for results. Results are when a, when a deal closes. Remember, if you're gonna join real estate, you'll be the last one to get paid. If you wanna be the first one to be paid, you wanna be an employee. Problem is, employees don't get paid as much as entrepreneurs. So the first mindset shift that you have to do is how to run your business like a business, like an entrepreneur. That's one area of weakness. The second one is the consistency of prospecting. A lot of agents do prospecting kind of willy-nilly. Let's see how I feel today. Oh, it's Friday. It's sunny. Let's do some prospecting. Let's see what happens today. Maybe we get a client today. That is the wrong attitude to run your business. The way you run your business as a prospector is you schedule it and you stick to it. So today I'm going to make 10 new phone calls to people I don't know. I'm going to follow up with five people I already know. I'm going to go face-to-face -to -face and meet people at their home. I'm going to hold an event like an open house or something like that. We call that deliberate prospecting. That's another area of weakness, a major area of weakness of our realtors. The third area is called controlling the presentation. You see, if you get a buyer or a potential buyer or you get a seller or a potential seller, well, guess what? You have to present. You have to tell them why they should pick you. You have to tell them what your marketing is, why you work with the company you work for, why should they pick you, why don't they pick somebody else. That's the presentation skill. And your ability to present well with the seller and hold a proper consultation with the buyer are essential for them to say yes to you. That's another area that you have to really master. The fourth one that everybody forgets is your time blocking and your time management. Your daily habit dictates your success. You know, some of you are going, but no, okay, uh, if you give me the right clients, I'm going to succeed. Nope. That is not how you succeed. The way you succeed is by you dividing your day properly in such a way that you always focus on the highest priority things. What are the highest priority? Following up. 
talking to new clients, setting up appointments. Those are high priority activities. A lot of agents are bumper cars. What they do, they show up and see what happens. I'll go to the office and see what my broker gives me. Let's see what happens today. That is not the right mindset of an entrepreneur. That is the mindset of an employee. And guess what? We don't pay you to be an employee. We pay you to be creative as an entrepreneur. And the last area of mastery in real estate is called your mental toughness or your stamina, your ability to have somebody say no to you and not be shaken by it. You call someone and say, hi, my name is Susan. I'm your local realtor. We're holding an open house and I would like to invite you. And the person says to you, I don't want to talk to you. I, I'm not interested, not interested, not interested. And you going, okay, well, thank you for talking to me. I hope we'll talk some, some other time. Thank you. Bye-bye. And you hang up and you pick the next call. See, you being able to do that and realizing that that person saying no was not saying no to you. That mental stamina, only a few agents develop it. Again, think about it. Why is it that 80% of real estate is done by 20% of agents. Well, guess what? Those 20%, they know how to take a punch. In fact, they don't even think of it as a punch. When somebody tells them, I'm not interested, they don't get you know, uh, totally unraveled and go, oh my God, what happened to me? They don't like me. They don't do that. They go, I totally understand. Right now, you're busy. You don't have time to talk to me. Totally get it. Thank you for picking up the phone and talking to me. I'll talk to you later. And they know down the road, they're going to call back that person with a smile on their face. That is a skill. See, I want you to understand there's a lot of brokers and there's a lot of people in the industry who believe that only a few people are born into real estate and the rest, they should do something else. I don't think so. Those five areas I talked to you about are all areas of skill. You can develop the skill of becoming more proactive as a, as a prospector. You can develop the skill of doing good presentations. You can develop the skill of being able to hear no and not falling apart. You can develop the skill of running your day properly. All of those areas are skills. There's this illusion in our industry that you have to be a, uh, an I personality to do very well in real estate. I don't think so. You can be an S personality if you've done any kind of personality profile. I can, I can show you people with different types of personalities. C personalities who are very, uh, what I call, uh, structured. D personalities who make decisions. I personality who like to have fun and connect with people. And S personality who like harmony and connecting with people in a soft, gentle way. I can pick one person from each category and show you that they do very, very well in real estate. It is not your personality that is going to make you succeed in real estate. It is your commitment to your career. It is how you approach your business. And that is the shift that a lot of our agents have yet to undertake. So, let me tell you how I designed this course. I designed it because I do a lot of other trainings. Most of you know about my iFast Track training and where I show up and I do a class on a particular topic and you're there observing, taking notes, hopefully listening to me. And if you did that with me, thank you. I'm glad you, uh, I know you that way. But you know something what's missing is accountability. The homework, did you do the homework? How did you do? So the way I designed this course is you, learn something, then you have to report to your success partners, which is two people minimum, plus me. And you do that weekly. So I want you to picture this. Every week, if you choose to do this course, you don't have to, but if you choose to do this course every week, you will have what's called a daily easy assignment. It's something you can do in one minute or two, a daily easy assignment. Then you will have a daily... Eh, not easy, but not hard, 
something that takes about 10, 15 minutes. Then once a week, you get the big kahuna. What is the big kahuna? A project you have to work on. And every week, you have to complete that project, working with your success partner, and then report it to me. And then we go through the process. What, how did you do? Did you not do it well because maybe the technology that you're using is not working? Maybe you need to learn a little bit more. Maybe you need more time to learn these things. But you are required to do the assignment. That's the agreement you sign when you join the course. Here's what we found. We found that people who are accountable, even if they make mistakes as they do the exercises, they tend to do better in real estate. You see, it's not how well you do it, it's how committed you will do it. That's where the results show up. So I designed this course as a combination coaching, mentoring, accountability. And accountability, not just to me, to the group. This is why my classes in the boot camp are small. I keep them to about, I would say, 15 to 25 people. I like about 20. 20 is a good number. 20, 22, 18, that sounds like a good number because we're going to be working together. What else should you know? People ask me, who benefits from this course? To be honest with you, I just finished one in South Carolina where four of the people in the class were themselves brokers who've been in the business more than five years. And I asked them, how was it? And they go, there, there were so many blind spots I had. I had no idea I had those blind spots. And I'm, not, I'm rectifying them and I'm going to the area where I need to focus on. So I've had brokers who've been in the business a long time. I've had team leaders and agents who've been in the business a long time. And I've had brand new agents who ended up the year being becoming top agents. So it's, it's a panoply. A lot of people go, do you, do you need to know real estate a long time to do this well? No. You don't, in fact, you don't need to know anything about real estate. What I need you to do is be committed to your career. I don't want you to be an observer. If you're going to join this course and watch it and see what's happening, no, 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 no. Please don't come to this class because we don't do that in this course. In this course, we actually take action. Here's what I cannot do. I cannot create that inner burning desire for you to succeed. If you don't have it inside of you, if you don't have that desire to do well, I can't create it for you. But if you have a little ember, that desire goes, I really want to do well. I, I'm committed. I'll, I'll, I'll play the game. I'll do what I need to do. If you have that little flame, I will support you and turn it into a roaring fire. But you have to step up. I am not going to step up for you. You have to step up for yourself. So you need to be coachable. You need to be collaborative. You're going to be working with the other 20 people. So you need to step up and bring goodness to the course, and they will bring goodness to you. This is why before you even join this course, I have to interview you. We agree on the, on the agreements because I give you a set of agreements to review. Then I give you two assignments to do. Once you do these three things, then I invite you into the course. So, for example, in this course I'm putting, doing for June 5th, about four people were asked not to join. It was not appropriate for them. There's nothing wrong with them as human beings. It's just not for them. They did not understand what the course is about. And then after doing the first assignment, they realized, uh-oh, you're going to make me work. And I said, uh, yeah, I will do that. They go, no, I don't want to do that. I, I just want to learn a little bit on the side. And like, that's fine, but this is not the class for you. So what are the logistics? The course is eight Fridays in a row. Uh, it starts next Friday, June the 5th. Uh, we start at 8.30 a.m. Eastern. You have to be logged in by 8.20. You have to have a laptop that has a built-in webcam. And you have to have good internet. I will be checking that with you. You have to be in a place where you are not disturbed because you're going to be with me from 8.30 a.m. Eastern until 12 noon. 
I'll give you a 15 minute break in between and we're going to work. You will, there's only one Friday we'll skip, which is July the 3rd. You know why? Because it's the day before July the 4th. Some people like to be with their family, but I want to make sure I don't lie to you. That week, there will be assignments too. Even though we're skipping that week, that Friday, you will have to do some assignments with yourself and with your uh, partners. And remember, we are, I'm big on daily activities, small, easy, and learning and doing a big activity once a week. And they're part of the requirements. And if you don't agree to requirements, I totally understand. I am not talking people into this course, but if you do them, I, I promise you this, you'll do better. If you truly understood that the only thing that is keeping you from getting what you want is you, your life will change. There's something getting in the way, and it's not the world. It's not COVID-19. It is not our politics. It is not where you live. It is you. If we can get you right with yourself, your business will be right. So these are some of the topics I'm going to be covering. Remember, I told you what I do. I cover the intersection of prospecting, internet marketing, which is lead generation, and mindset training, which is how to run your business properly. If you take these three areas and you combine them with accountability, agents tend to do well for the long term. Do you, do you see why this is not for everyone? Do you see why it's only for a small group of people who are ready? And this is why I've, I've always done this course. I do it every two to three months. And you know how many people join? Usually about 20 people. Because at that time, they are ready. Um, you probably have some concerns. You may have some questions. Here's what I want you to do. Go to that URL, bit.ly forward slash A-W-J-U-N 2020, all lowercase. If you go to that URL, you will find that there's a video that goes much, much deeper on explaining the course. You will see the registration and you will see all of the requirements. And if you're curious about it, you can just call me. I hope this illuminated the course for you. I hope it gave you a sense of it. Um, and I look forward, if you register, to see you then.